In this video, I'll show you how to access the raw answer that your bot produces when your user queries a knowledge base. This way, you can integrate the AI task with your knowledge base and have more control over the answers that your bot gives to your users. For this example, I'll set up a web search knowledge base using the web search option in the knowledge base menu. I'll have my bot search the entire web whenever my user asks it a question. Back in our main workflow, I'm going to place a standard node, and inside of it, I'll use a raw input card. This will just prompt a user for a question. So in there, I'll just say, question. I'll make sure to enable knowledge answering on this node because I want my user to be able to query the knowledge base, in this case, searching the web. The next thing I'm going to do is enable manual answering from the knowledge agent menu. This is necessary because we want to get an answer from our bot and we want to manipulate it before it's automatically sent to our user. So I'll just make sure that answer manually is enabled. Great. This next step is where the real magic of BotPress comes in. So from our card tray, I'm going to take an AI task and place it directly in our node. In the task instructions, I'm going to tell my bot what I want it to do, which in this case is just summarize the user input in two sentences. Now, in the AI task input section, what I want to place is the thing that will actually get sent to our model. So in this case, that's going to be the thing that I want to be summarized in two sentences. I'm going to place this formula, which you can copy from the description of this video, but all you need to know is that this equals the raw answer from our knowledge base query before it's been manipulated at all to make it more readable for your user. I'll make sure to store the output from this AI task in a variable called user answer that we'll be able to reference later. Now, let's make sure our user gets this answer by using a simple send message card. I'll place it in our node over here, and in the message, all I'm going to send is that variable we just created, which stores the output from our AI task. Now that we've put everything together, let's test it out. So in the emulator, I'll say hi, get prompted for a question, and I'll ask my bot, what is a burrito? What's going to happen is the bot is searching the web for an answer to this question, and then it's running the AI task, which is taking that answer and summarizing it in two sentences, just like we asked it to. Awesome. Let's take our testing one step further. I want to understand what's going on before my AI task manipulates that answer and sends it back to our user. To do this, let's place the formula that we know stores the raw answer from our knowledge base and just send that to our user in a simple send message card. So I'll place that here and I'll place that formula that we stored earlier. I'll remove this one to avoid any confusion. Now let's test it out one more time. If I say hi, and once again, I ask my bot, what is a burrito? We're going to see that it spits out a lot of information. What's happening here is your bot is showing you the raw information or the raw answer, and it's telling you how it knows the answer to what is a burrito. This is a great way to understand better how your bot works, where it's pulling information from, and how you might be able to manipulate that answer in order to improve your user's experience. Happy bot building!